Hey, I'm Karen, and I'm a mom to two amazingly neurospicy autistic kiddos. If you're an autism parent like me, you know I don't have the time to make a podcast intro. I also lack the tech skills, so let's just get into it. This is the Neuroordinary Podcast. First, if you're listening on Drop Day, to those in the U.S., I hope your Thanksgiving is going well if you celebrate it. While I realize this holiday can be fraught for a lot of reasons for many people, I always like to think of it as a day we can practice gratitude in whatever way works best for us. That's why I didn't skip creating an episode today. Y'all know how much I love gratitude. It's also why today's episode is all about finding gratitude in the small wins. It's not just a Thanksgiving thing, it's a year-round practice. In our sometimes chaotic world of autism parents, parenting, it's crucial we pause and appreciate the little victories, the unsung milestones that often go unnoticed by the rest of the world. These small wins, no matter how seemingly insignificant, are so, so important. So let's bring it back to gratitude for a hot sec. It shouldn't be limited to special occasions. Gratitude is a powerful mindset that turns everyday moments into something extraordinary. In the world of autism parenting, our daily victories may seem small, but they hold immense value. Shifting our focus to gratitude unveils the beauty within seemingly routine moments in our everyday lives. These moments, although they might appear modest to others, are the hidden treasures of our parenting experience. And it often feels kind of weird to share how excited we are about them in a world that isn't made for our kids and sometimes doesn't seem to understand them or their needs very well. It could be the shared laughter during a therapy session or your kiddo doing something that an other child their age would have mastered, and I'm air quoting that, years earlier, or another type of subtle progress that often goes unnoticed. These instances deserve to be celebrated and enjoyed with gratitude and joy. When we intentionally center ourselves on gratitude, we open our eyes to the beauty within these seemingly ordinary moments. It's like putting on glasses that allow us to see beyond our immediate challenges and allow us to appreciate the small and powerful victories scattered throughout our journey as our kiddos' parents. Think about the daily activities that make up our routine. Mealtime, bedtime, moments of play. Within these everyday occurrences lie the building blocks of progress and connection. But since they're so mundane and we often get dragged down with the tasks of parenting, we may not always have the energy or mindset to notice. The consistency of our efforts and our children's resilience reveal the extraordinary within the ordinary. As autism parents, we intimately understand our children's developmental nuances and differences. Gratitude is the tool that sharpens our awareness and it helps us recognize and appreciate the beauty embedded in our daily routines and the progress that our kiddos are making. A mindset of gratitude invites us to savor the journey finding fulfillment in the everyday victories that add up and contribute to our kids' growth. It reframes challenges as opportunities for growth and setbacks as stepping stones toward progress. In autism parenting, gratitude kind of helps us weave together seemingly disparate moments into a beautiful story. It's a daily practice of acknowledging strengths and achievements, no matter how small, and it shapes our parenting experience as a whole. When we embrace gratitude, We cultivate resilience and fortitude. We learn to find joy in our journey, and we can even get to a place where we can appreciate the unique beauty autism brings to our lives. It's an approach empowering us to navigate our challenges with grace and celebrate the small wins as cherished victories. In essence, gratitude isn't just an emotion. For me, it's a way of life. Embracing an attitude of gratitude has significantly changed my perspective on my kids and how I show up as their mom. It's the compass that guides me through the labyrinth of parenting, and it reminds me to pause, reflect, and appreciate the extraordinary within my ordinary. So I say, let's continue our parenting journey with hearts full of gratitude, finding beauty in each step, and celebrating the small wins that make our parenting adventure truly remarkable. So why are these everyday victories so crucial? They are the tangible beats of progress, the tiny little strides our kids are making that might appear insignificant to others, but hold huge significance for us. Each small win stands as a testament to their growth and our shared journey with them. 
While I am not a fan of the puzzle piece logo as a symbol of autism or autism awareness, I do think celebrating these small daily victories is like gathering puzzle pieces. Over time, you can use them to construct a picture of both you and your child's resilience and achievement. In the eyes of society, these small victories might not always seem noteworthy. Yet, as autism parents, we understand how hard our kids work to achieve them and what we put into helping them achieve them. These insights mold our parenting journey and can help us keep our commitment to offer the type of unwavering help and support our children need. I like to think of these small wins like my daily affirmations. They affirm that even amid all the challenges I face, my kids face, they're making strides, big or small. They are on a continuous journey and these victories serve as milestones. They remind me of the progress that my children are making and help encourage me on my path. So how can you celebrate and focus on the small wins? I have three ideas for you. One, create a gratitude jar with your child. Every evening, jot down a small win or a heartwarming moment that you shared with your kiddo. Watch as the jar fills up and it, it's gonna become a visible reminder of the good things that happen every day. It's a simple yet powerful practice that keeps us grounded and grateful for the journey we're on. Now, why is this practice so impactful? First, it deepens the connection between you and your child. Sharing these moments of gratitude and celebration fosters an environment of mutual acknowledgement, right? It strengthens the bond you have with them. Second, it provides a moment of reflection. As you both contribute to the jar, you'll find yourself celebrating the good memories you've made together. Lastly, it acts as a reservoir of positivity on days when you're having big challenges. A glance at that filled jar serves as a vivid reminder of all the great times and good moments you've had together. So as you engage in this shared activity, consider the huge impact it has on your relationship with your child. Through the act of recognizing and recording these wonderful moments, you're not just building a gratitude jar, you're strengthening your resilience and celebrating your relationship with your child. You're creating a visible testament to the enduring strength and love of your relationship. One caveat though, um, this practice may not work very well if you have a kiddo with a PDA profile. Now that can stand for persistent demand for autonomy or pathological demand avoidance, depending on who you ask. I'll drop some information about PDA in the show notes for you. If this is you and your child, you may still benefit from creating a gratitude jar on your own. Just don't expect too much from your kiddo when it comes to particip participation and also try to be flexible. If seeing the jar bothers them, keep it someplace where only you can see it, but know that it's there as a visual reminder of your relationship and the good things that happen in your lives every day, even amid the challenges you face. So moving on to my next idea, end your day with gratitude. Here's a self-care challenge for you. As you wind down each day, take a moment to reflect on just three simple things you're grateful for in your role as an autism parent. It could be a small achievement, a shared laugh, a moment of understanding. By consciously practicing gratitude, we invite more positivity into our lives and we foster a sense of contentment. Why is this so crucial? First, acknowledging the good things in your life fosters resilience. Second, it provides a mental break and it steers your focus toward the uplifting aspects of your day in your life. Lastly, Intentionally practicing gratitude is a powerful emotional anchor. It helps you cultivate contentment even on the more challenging days of autism parenting. This nightly exercise acts as an easy way to help add a bit of gratitude to your attitude and help improve not only your outlook on life, but your ability to handle whatever life throws at you. Shout it out. Idea number three, find someone who will be just as happy and excited about your child's wins as you are. Your five-year-old finally pooped on the toilet. Congratulations, that's awesome. Your teenager shook hands with someone and introduced themselves by name all on their own. You both deserve a high five. Your preschooler slept through the night for the first time ever, and you survived the 90 seconds of terror you had when you woke up to realize that fact. If you know, you know. Also been there, done that. You deserve to have a place where you can celebrate your wins, big or small. In the community I'm building with the Neuro Ordinary podcast and my Out of Your Ordinary coaching practice are built to do exactly that for you. I'll drop some links to where you can connect with us in the show notes below. So as we wrap up this episode and as we navigate the everyday maze of autism parenting, let's not overlook the small victories. 
embrace the joy in your journey, celebrate progress, and find gratitude in the everyday magic. When we reflect on our journey as parents and our children's journey as young autistics, we realize that every step forward, no matter how small it may seem, is a victory worth celebrating. It's in these small wins that we find the strength to face the challenges that come our way. I appreciate you joining me in this celebration of everyday wins, wishing you and your family a life filled with gratitude and countless victories, both large and small. Thanks for listening. New episodes of the Neuro Ordinary podcast drop every Thursday. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're feeling generous, leave a comment or review to let me know what you thought about today's episode. If you know of an autism parent who would benefit from hearing about what we've talked about here today, please share this episode with them. And whatever you do, keep it spicy.